Have you been reading the papers? Grown-ups really have the world fouled up. Acid rain, toxic wastes, holes in the ozone, sewage in the oceans, and on and on. The only bright side to all this is that eventually there may not be a piece of the planet worth fighting over. You packing? Yep, get your toothbrush, Hobbs. We're out of here. It's an outrage how grown-ups have polluted the Earth. I refuse to inherit a spoiled planet. I'm leaving. Really? Where to? You know, sometimes you're a real load to have around. I was just asking. How about Mars? We could go there to avoid Earth's pollution. Yeah, if we go now, we can claim it and keep everyone else off it. Okay, it's settled. Mars it is. You finish packing, I'll go get the wagon. We're going in the wagon? Of course! What did you want to do? Flap your arms? I guess I hadn't thought about that part. Obviously. So long, Mom. Hobbs and I are going to Mars to live. Earth is too polluted. Have a good time. Say goodbye to Dad for us. If I can find an interplanetary post office, I'll write you once in a while and... Calvin, don't stand there with the door open. You're letting in bugs. Either stay in or go outside. She didn't seem too choked up about us going, did she? We should have left long ago. Blast off! You really think we'll get enough lift to break Earth's gravity? Of course, you think I didn't plan this out? I thought of everything. Did you think of what you'll eat on our trip? Packing was your job! Didn't you pack us any food? I packed food for me. We did it! We cleared Earth's orbit! Mars, here we come! Are you sure this is the way? What? Didn't you bring the map? Space travel makes you realize just how small we really are. When you see Earth as a tiny blue speck in the infinite reaches of space, you have to wonder about the mysteries of creation. Surely we're all part of some great design, no more or less important than anything else in the universe. Surely everything fits together and has a purpose, a reason for being. Doesn't it make you wonder? I wonder what happens if you throw up in zero gravity. Maybe you should wonder what it's like to walk home. Hang on! We're coming in through Mars's atmosphere! Bonk, bonk. We've landed! We're the first ones to ever set foot on another planet! What a historic moment! I still can't believe you forgot the camera. I remembered it. You just didn't want to turn around. See any signs of Martian life? Not yet. Hey, look! It's the old Viking spacecraft that landed here in the 70s. Gosh, I wonder if it's still working. <laughs> that ought to blow some circuits at NASA. Hee hee hee. I've always wanted to do something like that. Well, this is our new home. I guess we should unpack and set up camp. Comic books, comic books, tuna, some candy bars, more tuna, toothbrushes, a can opener. Looks like we're all set. What's this? A nightlight. I thought it might be scary sleeping on a new planet. Boy, you thought of everything. Now we have to find an outlet. Yep, Mars may be a little dull, but it's better than Earth. Crunch, crunch. We've got a whole planet to ourselves. Brand new and unspoiled. No people, no pollution, nothing but rugged, natural beauty as far as the eye can see. That's not your candy bar wrapper over there, is it? It was just there a minute. I wasn't going to leave it. I don't know about you, but I like it here on Mars. I do, too. It's very peaceful. Not only that, but we don't have Mom here to boss us around. No early bedtime, no baths, no disgusting dinners, no... Did that rock just move? Mom! Oh my gosh, that rock moved. There's something under it. It must be a Martian. Oh no, oh no, it's probably some creepy tentacled bug-eyed monster. You're right, there's a tentacle now. It's coming out. What will we do? Is the Martian still out there? I'll take a peek. I don't see him. He must have hidden. Hidden? Do you think he's scared of us? Why not? We're scared of him. Yeah, but we are just ordinary Earthlings, not weirdos from another planet like he is. Why do you think the Martian hid from us? Maybe Martians don't like Earthlings. 
don't like us, what's not to like? There's nothing wrong with humans. Hey, you Martian, come on out. We're not bad. We just came here because people polluted our own planet so much that, uh, what I mean is, um... So what are you saying? That our reputation preceded us? Would you welcome in a dog that wasn't house-trained? I guess we should go home to Earth. Yeah, we may not be welcome here. We ought to fix up our own planet before we go messing around with other people's planets. After all, there's only one Earth, and it's got to last us a while. We also should go home because we're clean out of tuna. I hope Mom and Dad didn't rent out my room. There's Earth! We're almost home! Look, you can see the continents! Hmm, if I remember my atlas, we live in a big purple country. And our house is by the giant letter E in the word states. Hi, Dad. Guess what Hobbs and I did? We went to Mars. Well, well. Yep, we were going to live there because Earth is so polluted, but we discovered Mars is inhabited, so we came back home. You didn't like the Martians? No, they didn't like us. I think they were afraid we'd junk up Mars the way we've junked up Earth. What's my good briefcase doing out, and why does it smell like tuna fish? And can you believe it, Dad? We go clear to Mars and dumb old Hobbs forgets the camera!